Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nautica Love and we're back with another video. As always, before we get into the video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and share this video if you would like. Please follow me on all my social media, that's Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. It will be linked in the description below. And let's get into the video. <laughs> be one more love. Hey y'all, so today's story time. I told y'all I was gonna be introducing y'all to some new people because we was done with oh boy. So today's story time is gonna be about oh I didn't name him. Let's call him Tay. Okay, so this story is kind of like throwback, throwback, okay? And it's funny because I'm yeah, this this story is throwback, okay? So um this was probably like fresh. What I say for, no, okay. So I was technically in high school, but I was about to graduate. Um, yeah, I was technically in high school, but I was about to graduate that year. And Tay was already, he already had graduated. I want to say the year before or the year before that. So me and Tay had knew each other for like a long time. Like to the point, I don't even remember how we met. Like, I don't even know if it was like my space. I don't even want to say it was my space because we was like young like we met when i was in maybe like the ninth tenth grade ish i don't know but i don't remember how we met okay so he didn't go to my school he i went i graduated from garfield and i went to garfield he went to another school i don't want to say the name of his school because i feel like people gonna put two and two together and they gonna know who i'm talking about so yeah so he didn't go to my school but he went to another school that was like kind of close to my school i guess yeah, like, we, we knew each other for a very long time. Like, we used to talk for, like, years. Like, we never officially dated, even to this day. Like, I don't talk to him no more now, but even to this day, like, we never officially dated. But we just talked, you know, heavy. Like, on and off for, like, years. Like, if he popped up in a relationship, I disappeared. If I popped up in a relationship, he disappeared. But to be honest, like, I really wasn't in many relationships when i was in high school but one and that was like my first love i'm gonna tell y'all that story time about that but it's not really much to it to be honest i mean it's not like scandalous or it wasn't no like real cheating it wasn't nothing like that but i feel like that was kind of like my first heartbreak but obviously that was like puppy love i was in like high school but anyway so yeah back to tay <laughs> y'all know i get sidetracked okay so when i got in like i want to say the 11th grade like the 11th grade summer going into the 12th grade like me and him start talking like real real heavy like on like some friendship like we a flirt here and there of course because i'm a flirt i'm gonna just be honest um but yeah so we a flirt here and there but it was never like no relationship stuff. We never did anything. We never did nothing like that. We just talked. 11th grade, me and him was talking heavy. And he had had this one girlfriend that went to another school that was separate from both of our schools. I don't know. I felt like she was dating all my exes. It's weird. Like, and I mean, technically he wasn't an ex, but he was a nigga I was fucking with. Like in terms of like we was talking or whatever, but it's like she was talking to every nigga I talked to in terms of well it was just two the two that she talked to was niggas that I fucked with like it wasn't like no mm, he cool it was niggas I fucked with okay yeah I was talking to him while he was with her because I just felt like if you don't respect again y'all know like I was young and like when I've been telling these story times I really been noticing like I really wasn't shit like I really I wasn't a girl's girl I, I and in a way, I'm still not a girl's girl, but when it comes to niggas, I don't mess with dudes who already got a girl who's in a relationship, who's married, who's dealing with somebody heavy. I don't do that no more. But I used to be, if you don't respect your relationship, I don't respect your relationship. So, he used to entertain me. We had flirt. We, we even, like, kicked it a few times. Like, I went over his house a few times or whatever. I mean, nothing happened. But, I'm going to get there. That's the tea. That's the tea. So, yeah, I went over there a few times. Nothing really happened. We just chilled, talked. I don't know. We just got along good. We just talked shit to each other. Like, that was just, like, our vibe or whatever. So, she kind of felt the way about it because I think he told her that he still talked to me. Obviously, he made it clear to her, like, we wasn't 
doing anything. We was just cool. But I don't know if he ever told her, like, I used to come over and stuff. I doubt it. But, yeah, so, like, me and him got, like, real cool. Like, when I went to prom, he came to see me go to prom. Like, it, like we was cool, like, real good friends with, like, some flirting. When a dude got a girlfriend, like, for some reason, forbidden fruit is always more appealing, okay? Ain't that what happened with Adam and Eve? Forbidden fruit is always more appealing, okay? Well, it used to be, not no more. The young me. Like, he told me he had a girlfriend. Obviously, I knew he had a girlfriend because of social media and stuff. But it was always, like, when he talked to me, it ain't feel like you had a girlfriend, okay? His girlfriend started feeling some type of way. Started, like, shading me on social media and shit. Like, just, like, saying little stuff or whatever. And it was just like, girl, your nigga want me just as much as I want him. Like, and for real, for real, yeah, I ain't even gonna say that. But yeah, like, so don't come at me, baby. That is the person that's supposed to be loyal to you, not me. I owe you nothing. But again, I got to keep reiterating, like, that was the old me. Like, I do, like, I know people probably like, this bitch, give me the same face, like, girl. But what I'm saying to y'all is, I was young, dumb, and full of, I just, man, I'm talking shit. No, I wasn't. But I was young and dumb. Like, I was just doing shit. Like, if you didn't respect your situation, how can I respect the relationship that the man don't respect and he's entertaining something with me? Like, let's be real. But now we know me being 27, almost 28, if y'all don't know, my birthday is coming up May 15th, okay? But yeah, Taurus gang. <laughs> my 20, almost 28 years of living, I know niggas not shit. But then back then, I wasn't looking to be his girlfriend. So I, I didn't care how he moved in terms of a relationship because I wasn't interested on that level. I just wanted to, you know, something to do what it wanted to do. Okay, fast forward. We end up, like, I think he had broke up with her. Like, so they had ended up breaking up. He was single for a little minute. Like, I want to say, like, well, it wasn't that long. He was single. Okay, so the one time I had one over there, I'm just like, you know what, let me just, let's just see what this gonna be about. Let's just see what it's gonna be about. You know what I mean? Like, did y'all, do y'all ever feel like that? Don't make me feel like I'm on my own with this. Have y'all ever felt like that? Like, mm, let me just see what it's like with him. Let me just see. Let me see how he, okay. So if you know, you know. Now I'm trying to throw the hint so you can catch it. If you ain't catching it, Okay, it's going right over your head. Yeah, so I'm like, let me just see what this about or whatever. And I think his dad had the word for, I don't know. Okay, so by this time, I had already graduated. I'm out of high school. Like, I'm like fresh out of high school. So me and him still talking. So I went over there or whatever. You know, I pull up. I was so thirsty when I got my license. I had got my license when I was 16. So I had been driving, but like, my, you know, how like when you first get your license, and you don't have a car, so you drive in your parents' car, so they, like, real kind of skeptical, because they, like, you got, you just learned how to drive, girl. I'm not about to let you see my car. My mom wasn't really like that, for real. Like, she was kind of like, if I want to go, I go. Especially when I got old, like, when I was grown, technically, um, and out of high school, like, she really wasn't, like, pressed like that. So, yeah, so I had took my mama's car, and I pulled up. So, we chilling or whatever, we talking. I don't know how I got to the point where we were about to be intimate, but it got there. I was like, because I wanted to see what it was about. That's what, because when I plan, let's just have a talk, y'all. I feel like this is not even giving story time, but story time slash girl talk, I guess. Let's just have a talk. I was younger when I decided if I wanted to be intimate with a person, decide in that moment, like, when I'm there. Now, me being older now, I kind of have my mind set on it before I get there or before you get here to me. Like, I already know what I'm, I already know I'm about to give it up, okay? <laughs> that sounds so crazy. Y'all not judging me, are y'all? The world, the world is judgmental, child, but I'm just keeping it real with y'all. So yeah, I be already knowing I'm about to give it up. Like, when I, like, now I know, like, oh, yeah, him, hmm, 
Oh, I like him. Okay. Or we talk heavy. I'm feeling him. Like, I know when I'm about to get it up. Typically. Now, it's been times where I had it in my mind and I changed my motherfucking mind once I got there because those story times are coming. Okay. And this is kind of one of them. But my mind wasn't made up until I got there. Okay. So, back to the story. So, when I get there or whatever, um, I was like, I was debating in my head. You know how, like, the little mental struggles you go with when you decide, like, do I want to give him some? Do I not? Do I want to give him some? Do I not? What would be the consequences if I gave him some? How would he act if I gave him some? I, I'm like, okay, let's just, you know, we I think we just start, start like, pecking or whatever. And I want to say he started kissing on me. And that was all she wrote, okay? So, but the thing was, and I think this kind of would turn me off of chubby niggas. No offense to the chubby niggas. I used to love me a chubby niggas. They smell good. They dress nice. I don't know. They they like a te teddy bear. I love me a chubby nigga. But this scenario turned me off. Okay, so we doing the do. And, well, trying to do the do. I don't even count it. That's how, yeah, I don't even count it. I, I'm going to just tell you like that. We're trying to do the do. And the, it keeps falling out, y'all. It keeps falling out. Like, keep falling out. Like, to the point, I was just like, I don't, I'm uninterested. Like, I don't want it no more. I'm not even turned on no more. I'm ready to go. A in fact, actually, I'm about to go. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. Pull your pants up. Yeah, pull your pants up. I'm about to go by my ear. I'm out of here. I'm gone. Okay? I'm out of here. So, like, that kind of was like, ugh. And can y'all explain to me what would be the reason for it falling out? How I view it. And then, I don't feel like, like, I be feeling bad when I feel like I'm talking down on people. It kept falling out, but the seconds that it was in, I felt nothing. And mind you, I'm fresh out of high school, so I had one sexual partner at this time. And that was the person I lost my virginity to. Do y'all want to... I'm going to give y'all that story time, too. I might... Yeah, I'm going to give y'all that story time, too. Maybe, like, that would probably be my next story time about how I lost my virginity. Because, yeah. So, by this time, I only had had one sexual partner. So, obviously, I don't have much to compare it to. But that first experience... Yeah. Was with a skinny, lanky, tall dude. So, that compared to a chubby... Well, I wouldn't even say... Ch mm, would I say chubby? He had a stomach. He just wasn't... He had a stomach, but he wasn't, like, big. Yeah, I would say chubby, I guess. Yeah, I would say chubby. So, yeah, compare a tall, skinny dude to a tall, chubby dude. Like... A, me, a, a medium tall because you know the height don't really look the same when you got more weight on you I'm just being honest but yeah like compare that so it just didn't I was so disappointed you know what I liked about him <laughs> I just liked him I don't know I, I just think we just clicked like the older me I don't think I would have liked him now but I don't know how he is to talk now but he was just kind of childish like he made like you know how like Y'all ever met a dude that's, like, always joking? Like, everything is a joke. Every every time, like, you can't have a serious conversation with them because they turn everything into a joke. Like, they don't take shit serious. That's kind of how he was. Like, everything was always a joke. He found a way to try to make something funny. And he used to make, like, a little voice and just... I don't know. Like, it just... I guess back then, I used to like... I guess that's why I liked him because he used to make me laugh and shit. Like, and we used to talk shit with each other, like... And I was young, so that's what I liked. I don't know. I don't know. And he had a good job. <laughs> and he had a good job to be so young. He had a good job. But, yeah, so after that, like, it, I was just so turned off. I don't think we really talked. We talked a little bit after that, but not much. It was kind of like the conversations had ran their course. I was turned off. I guess he was over it, too, because, I mean, I can't. It ain't like he was press like after that situation, it ain't like he was pressing, you know, pressing me or nothing. Like it was just kinda like it was what it was. He I mean, yeah. He wasn't interested, I wasn't interested, I guess. Like 
But the crazy thing is we kind of did talk a little bit after that because he had ended up dating another bitch and she had a kid. And obviously I didn't have a kid back then. I was like 18, 19 maybe. Maybe eight, 17. Maybe 17, 17, 18. Whatever. So yeah, he had had a whole new bitch body in like and she had a kid or whatever. And this hoe used to be subbing me on Twitter like, girl, I don't want your nigga. Hello? And I don't even think, yeah, me and him didn't even talk like that. Like, I mean, we would probably say something here and there on, like, social media or something. But we really didn't talk as heavy as we once did. Like, for her to be in her feelings about it, bitch, I don't even know you. If anything, the other bitch should have been mad about me and him talking. Not you, because I don't even talk to him. I don't, I don't give a fuck about him, like, in terms of relationship, wanting to fuck him, wanting to be up on him, wanting to spend time with him. It was not that. I was past that. But before that, obviously, I did like him. I did want something in terms of friends with benefits. I never wanted to date him. I've never seen. You know how, like, when you meet somebody, I think we all do this. We can all pretend like we don't. When you meet somebody and you liking them, you decide in your head, like, if you can picture yourself with them or not. And I never tried to picture myself with him, like, in terms of a relationship. I never saw it like that. We just, because I think the, the goofy shit, the goofy, silly shit kind of, like, Made me feel like he was only like a friend kind of guy. If I wanted benefits, I can do that. But it was like more so a friend. So, after that, like, we really didn't talk much. But the girl felt some type of way about her nigga. Like, girl, I don't want him. And he don't want me. We don't talk. So, go on, on and be happy with your man. And, like, he really was taking care of her kid. Like, that was his kid. Like, he was a good stepdaddy. It didn't last that long, but he was a good stepdaddy. Because, I mean, I used to see it on social media because we didn't have a falling out. Like, we still followed each other on stuff. Like, we still was friends on stuff. Like, and, it, you know, every now and again, I might reach out. Every now and again, he might reach out. But, like, we didn't end things with no beef. Like, even if I was to see him out, it would still be like a, hey. Like, it, it, was never, it wasn't no beef. It just, the intimate part, like, that turned me off. Like, I know, yeah. Because I feel like. We already ruined the friendship by even trying to take it here. And since I was kind of disappointed, like, I'm not going to look at you the same. Like, yeah, maybe you was disappointed too. And you're not going to see me the same. You know, who knows? But, I mean, how could you be disappointed? <laughs> Let's be real. How could you be disappointed? Because, you know, I ain't even about to get y'all all up in my business. But come on. Be for real. I know it probably got lost in the sauce. <laughs> no, let me chill. Let me chill. Let me chill. Chill out. Chill out. Hold me back. Hold me back. <laughs> okay, no, for real, y'all. But yeah, like, it, we ain't in things on our beef. Like, we still cool. We still follow each other to this day. Like, he got two kids now. Sure. Okay. And <laughs> come to find out why he got kids and was in a whole relationship with... A girl that I went to high school with and that me and her almost got into it like me and her almost fought but <laughs> it's the fact that he got a kid by her and not like when they first popped out like with their first child was which was probably like four five years ago maybe maybe four years ago um I was just like because he like I don't know like I just feel like he's not a good dude to date like he just don't the girl that he used to date prior to having these two kids he used to claim her heavy. Like, he used to post her all the time, post her kids, and da da da. I mean, post her daughter and all that. But the girl that he was dating when I was talking to him originally, before he got with the girl with the kid, he barely posted her. You barely knew he had a girl. You didn't know unless he told you or unless you followed her and she posted. Because that's how I knew it was because she posted and then he finally confirmed it. Because at first he was acting like they wasn't together, they was just cool. Anyways, the girl that he got a kid by now that I almost fought in high school, that got he got multiple kids by now. Yeah, when they popped out, I was just like, when, how the fuck? What? I'm confused. How do y'all even know each other? Because we not in high school no more. Like, how do y'all even know each other? Like, I felt the way. Because, huh? <laughs> I mean, obviously, I wasn't mad or nothing. But it was just like, you know how, like, you see some shit and you just be like, you be confused? Because that's how I was. I was confused. Like, how do y'all even know each other? How did y'all even come across each other? To, to the point that y'all got a baby and shit? Like, but I didn't even know he dated her until he, um, because he never, he never posted anything about this girl. I mean, nothing. 
he no indication that he was in a relationship at all on his page. But her, I follow her. Because obviously we went to high school together. And like it wasn't no beef by the time I was about to graduate. We almost fought. I want to say, was that ninth grade? Ninth, maybe 10th grade? I don't know. But yeah, like, yeah. So we follow each other, me and her. And me and him follow each other. But he wouldn't post her at all. And she would post. But you know, she wanted them girls. Like, she would just post like his arm or like him hugging her. But you can't see his face. Like, and I never cared enough to like, you know, do research. The only reason why I found out that they had a kid together and that they were in a relationship because she one of them people that tweet like is on Twitter. Her whole life is there. Everything. Don't I don't have a conversation with this girl, but I can tell you everything about her based on Twitter, and that's sad as fuck. Okay. So it, like in real time, she had posted her daughter. I want to say her daughter was like a couple of months old. She had posted her daughter and I'm like, oh, okay, she had a baby because she was posting her pregnant and all that and posting a nigga but not showing his face. So I'm like, oh, that's cute. She had a baby. But then he posted the baby. And I'm like, oh, he had a baby with her because the baby is the same baby, obviously. And I can tell um, I have eyes. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm like, oh, how the fuck they know each other? That was my first thought. Like, how the fuck do they know each other? Like, who introduced this? Who made this possible? Because I'm confused. Like, how do they know each other? Like, and I'm tired of bitches fucking with niggas that I fuck with that I know. Like, that's weird, but Cleveland is a small city. I'm sure your city is a small city. I mean, niggas dating niggas. Shit, the industry is big enough, and they date the same bitches too. So, I get it, but it's like, girl. And I mean, nobody knew I talked to him but the people that knew. So, and he, and Tay used to talk to, Tay was just a little thought that. Yana. But really, when I tell y'all my stories about that involves Tay and his friends, it's going to give Tatiana on my part, too. I'm going to just be brick, okay? <laughs> and But Tay used to talk to another girl I was cool with at my school. During the time I was at school, like, before me and him start talking, like, again, because we had talked on and off, but before we talked again, like, leading up to that last time and all that, and him having a new girlfriend or whatever... Before we talked that time, he was talking to another girl that went to my school. And me and her was, like, friends. Like, kicked it outside of school. All type of shit. Like, we were friends. But that was way before me and Tay got back on the same accord of, like, talking, like, again. When we talked, we used to flirt a little bit. But it was never nothing, like, outrageous where I would feel like he's off limits to anybody. Because it wasn't like that. But after her, like, she was saying, like, she wasn't really feeling him like that. And whatever, whatever. And then he had ended up reaching back out to me. And again, we was cool. Like, we was cool. And then me and her fell out anyway. I don't even remember why we fell out. Child, that was high school. But yeah, I'm going to just wrap this story here. Moral of the story is, the thing just wasn't thanging. His thing wasn't thanging for me. And he was a good dude, like, in terms of, like, had his shit together. And, you know, a nice guy and funny and all that. But... It's just, like, after that, I feel like that kind of ruined our friendship, like, in terms of us moving forward. Because once you get in a relationship or I get in a relationship and we're still cool, people are going to want to know, like, well, did y'all ever da, da, da. And technically, I don't count that. That is not a, a part of... I feel like if it was no real penetration, it don't count. What y'all think? Let me know in the comments. What y'all think? Do y'all think I should count that? Because I really don't count that. If it fell out and you didn't get the stroking am i am i doing too much for youtube i think i'm doing too much but if it fell out and it didn't you didn't get the 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 whistle fully blue or blue at all halfway blue kind of blue something it don't count it was just a fling it almost happened but it didn't okay but i'm gonna wrap this story here Please make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you would like. Also, share your thoughts on what you think about this story. If y'all want to come for me, come for me, okay? Because I come back. I come back. And if you get disrespectful, because I had a bitch get disrespectful on, like, a few of my, a couple of my videos back. If you get disrespectful, ho, I'm going to block you, <laughs> okay? Because I'm not arguing with you under my video. I am professional, okay? But I'm going to block you because I can't get in that ass how I want to. So, just understand that. You can leave your, opi your opinion. You're welcome to your opinion, however you feel. But do not disrespect me. You disrespect me, I'm blocking you. You say your opinion that, that disagrees with how I'm moving and how I'm acting, I will respond politely. 
And I will acknowledge what you're saying and I will respond based off of that. I won't come at you crazy as long as you don't come at me crazy. Come at me crazy, depending on what you say, I might block you or I might get in your ass. But I don't think I'm better to get in your ass like I want to get in your ass because we are on YouTube. So, yeah. Uh, and I don't need nobody trying to report me because it's not giving that. Uh -huh. And also, we are on the road to uh, 200 subscribers. Y'all, we have made it to 100 and something subscribers. I'm blink and boom. So, yeah, we're on our way to 200 subscribers. So, yeah, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow me on all my social media. Again, it is linked in the description. It is Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I do got some more cooking videos coming for y'all soon. And, yeah, wrap it up then.